Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars SH Figure Arts action figure review. This time we've got Kylo Ren from The Rise of Skywalker. This figure is just so sick. I'm I'm really digging this figure. For the most part, it uses the same figure um, as a base as the Last Jedi one, which, you know, makes sense. He's basically wearing the same outfit as he did in The Last Jedi. Change of helmet. And uh, they've made it a little bit darker. They've... Uh, you know, there was sort of a real, a real deep grey um, to the Kylo Ren from the Last Jedi. This one's gone pretty much a matte black all over, which is which looks great. Um, accessory wise, he comes with his lit lightsaber. As you can see his hands in his hands. He also comes with an unlit hilt, which has a peg, and just a regular unlit hilt. So that looks good. Also comes with a change of heads, which we will look at shortly. But uh, we'll just get a look at the figure um, because the helmet is so cool. <laughs> I just really dig that they brought back Kylo Ren's helmet and found a cool way to to piece it back together. And, uh, they've done a really good job with the uh, with the sculpt here. One thing I really do like about Kylo Ren's outfit in the Rise of Skywalker is the addition of the hood onto his uh, onto his cape. For unfortunately, we didn't get to see him with the hood on top of his helmet at all uh, throughout the film. I'm not sure whether that was something that may have been cut, something he may have worn at some point, but it was it was there. Um, there was some marketing material that showed him with the hood up. Um, but it doesn't matter. It just still it still looks cool. Now this cape's pretty well made. Um, I did have to do some tweaks around the neck just so it sat a little bit nicer around the shoulders because um, it did tend to fall back. It was just on a string and it just didn't really sit over the shoulders. Really, really nice. So uh, I've I've tweaked it a little bit, done some just some gluing and some bending of the of the metal. So we'll pop off the helmet and neck joint as you can see I've sort of mickeyed around with the seam and the neck bit here just so it holds a little bit nicer and now we'll pop in the alternate head of Kylo Ren which is a really nice sculpt it's actually different to the uh, last Jedi one which is which is cool um, would have been really easy for them just to reuse it But uh, they've done a good job, and uh, I'll be very interested to see whether they, whether Bandai decide to go down the route and bring out a uh, a Ben Solo at some point, because that would be that would be quite cool. So what I'll actually do is I'll put his. Bear with me. There we go. So the only sort of bummer about the neck is that his hair, his sort of mullet sort of limits the movement of his head tipping back too much. You can get it sort of straight, but you can't get him to look up um, at all. Otherwise, yep, it pops out. It's just the way it is. Um, it's a little unfortunate, but that's all right. Still looks pretty cool. I just love that. Love that cape sort of flowing behind him. Sort of very reminiscent of the concept art of Anakin Skywalker from Revenge of the Sith, um, where he's in a black suit. Very much feels like this. Look at a 
another quick look at the helmet. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, yeah, I'm pr pretty, pretty into this figure. It looks pretty damn good. So uh, stay tuned to my channel and I will be back with some more videos very soon. Till then, thanks for watching and may the force be with you.